morning, I'm Staff Sergeant Carter. Today I'll be demonstrating Future Soldier 2025. What does a soldier need 10, 15, 20 years from now? What do we think he's going to have? What do you think he's going to want? We're trying to answer that question now, develop it now so that it's ready for the soldier of the future. So I work with CERDEC, which is Communications Electronic Research Development and en Engineering Command of the United States Army. So currently when we stop for combat halt right now, we check three things. We check power, we check ammo, and we check the soldier status, right? Currently right now we have these big, square, bulky batteries that aren't conformable, they're not rechargeable, they, if they take one round, they're no good. You know, uh, they have no way to check the power status. So if I were to go on a new mission, what I do, I change my batteries out beforehand because I don't want to run out of power when I need power the most. So now that we kind of know the power problem, now we're going to look at what CERDIC has done to fix the, prob the problem. So what we're going to start off with is what we call the conformable battery. It's a battery which bends, it molds, it provides 150 watt hours of power. So currently the Army, we think everything that's here takes about seven watts average of power to run an hour. So if you think about that, it'll be somewhere close to 24 hours, maybe longer, maybe less, all out of this one battery. We've taken it a step further and we've added a little power gauge to this battery so you can see how much power you have. The problem is this thing is made to be worn, which means when I wear it, how am I supposed to see how much power it has? So we answer that question. We've made this soldier power manager, which it has inputs for battery and solar power. We are currently developing solar power to feed all the battery on a soldier. So that plugs into your net warrior device, which is a simple Android tablet. And what we call a fuel gauge. On the fuel gauge, you can see all the inputs going into that. So you can see the radio that's connected to it. You can see the phone that's connected to it, any other sources. All right here, you can see how much power is remaining on your battery. And then this system knows how much the average draw is from all those systems, computes it, and tells you your estimated battery time remaining. Great stuff, right? So again, like I was saying, this battery is made to be worn. It can be put in a backpack or in a rucksack. It can be worn in front of plates. It's a lithium ion battery. The first question that usually gets asked from soldiers is, well, what happens when this thing gets shot? This thing can take three to four rounds and still function. These, it's not one cell, it's multiple cells throughout this battery that work in parallel with each other, so they all provide power at once, but if you lose one, it's not gonna hurt them. You may lose you know, how much power you have, but that's an obvious. So if you lose half this battery, you still are providing power to the soldier. Now, when a soldier, if a soldier does take a round through this, the remaining lithium ion on that, or the residual lithium ion on that round isn't enough to harm you. The thing that you're gonna be worried about is the round that just went through.